What's up guys? Welcome back to another Tuesday evening drive. So, I told you I'm experimenting with different mics. <laughs> so I'm, I'm back on the lapel mic. And this time, I cut up a piece of one of my socks. I cut up a piece of one of my dress socks. Where is it? Right here. I cut up a piece of this dress sock. You can see the, the hole in it. Maybe you can see the hole. <laughs> so I cut up the dress sock and I'm using that as a mic cover to hopefully make it not sound as, not red line as much. I don't know, we'll see. It might be worse, it might be better. I don't know. But I did a test and it sounded good on the iPhone. We'll see how it sounds on the computer. But yeah, so there's something. Also, I just stopped by the post office to check the P.O. box. And I was running a little late today. So I went online and I was like, okay, can you go in the post office lobby to check a P.O. box after hours? And online it said, yes, you can go into the post office. Like they, the front desk closes at five o'clock, but you can still go in the lobby at eight or till eight. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll go in after the lobby, or not the lobby, after the main desk, the people there, after that part closes, I can at least go in, because there's a separate part. When you go in, there's a lobby, and then there's a separate area where the de the people are at the desk. So I was like, yes, I can still check the P.O. box, but uh, they were closed. It turns out it's not open till eight. Blast, so that's two strikes. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe I'll just go back tomorrow and check it. Um, but I feel bad because today I've been I've been going record crazy because I'm gonna be gone again this weekend and I gotta get videos done. So I'm going record crazy, like I said, and I had to mow the lawn, you know, gotta get groceries. It's just it's just crazy. So I was running a little late and I thought I found a nice little loophole, but it didn't work. But yeah. So let's get let's get into the questions. The first one actually has to do with the P.O. box. Flying Falcon said, hey, what should we, what do you want us to send you in the P.O. Box? Okay, really, you could send whatever you want. You don't even have to send anything. Like, the the main reason I set it up was because there's a lot of people who have things that they wanted to send me, but there was no way to send it to me. So I was like, yes, I will do this. And I feel bad for how long it took, but we finally got it going. But... You know, if there's nothing you can think of to send me, don't send anything. Really, I really don't want anybody to feel obligated, but I really don't even know what people are going to send me. Like, I think people usually send either like letters or fan art or like craft, like crafty things, something they've made or just something I'd enjoy, like something fun, like an iPad or something. No, I'm totally kidding. Don't. You don't send me an iPad. I have one. So there's no reason to send me anything like that. I don't, I don't want you guys to go crazy. But like, you know, if you if you make something or like if, if you think there's something that I might enjoy or something would be useful or um, something that relates to one of my video series, I really don't know. Like anything, anything you can think of is fair game. But, uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Like... After I after I open it up and, and see what people have sent, we'll get a better idea of what people are sending. And yeah, so like I said, the bottom line is you don't have to send anything, but if you want to, it could be anything, anything legal. <laughs> um, next question was from Frostops07. He said, hey dude, considering Ellie did that amazing remix of your song, Comeback Wolfie, I'm gonna pause for a minute. To, to let you guys know if for some reason you haven't seen it check out Ellie Beatmaker's remix of Comeback Wolfie a song that I made a long time ago dude it is amazing Ellie Beatmaker just he just did his thing this thing that he always does he made amazing music and if you haven't seen it you have to check it out okay and if you haven't heard of Ellie Beatmaker uh, what? <laughs> no, but he just makes amazing music, so, so check out the song if you haven't. But Frost Ops was saying, any plans to make any more music on the channel? I would love to, but I don't really have any current plans to do it. Here's the problem. So, 
You ever heard the phrase, jack of all trades, master of none? Like, that's something that goes through my head a lot because there's a lot of things in life that I like and like to do and would like to get better at. But the thing is, if you if you spread yourself too thin, you don't really specialize in anything. So I want to be the best YouTube content creator streamer that I can be. But if I if I split my time between too many things, then I can't put as much time into that. So it's that's a little problem there. Oh man. Okay. I'm trying to get this to stop rattling. These roads are bumpy. There's nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do about the, the roads. But yeah. So if I spend a lot of time on music, then that means that I'm spending less time on videos and streaming and stuff. So that's the tough thing. If I get to a point where I have more free time, then I might dabble in some music, but we'll see. But that's kind of the main thing. It's just, I would love to do more music, but it's just, it's just very time consuming. Writing and, and producing a song takes a lot, a lot of time. And Ellie actually said, he said, I have a similar question. Have you, have you like fully produced, like written and composed and sang any other songs or is it, or is that it, Comeback Wolfie? So in all fairness, Comeback Wolfie was a song parody off of a song by the script called Nothing. I think that's the name of the song. Oh, now we're getting really bumpy. Please stop bumping. Please don't look at this spit that just came out of my mouth. That happens at least once per video. Okay, maybe I'll just I'll just rest my fingers on this so it's not bouncing. But but yeah, so there was that. There was only one other song that I have ever written and done all the the lyrics, done all the instruments, done all the singing for, all myself, and it took a really long time, but I'm sorry, you're not going to be able to hear it, and <laughs> I've never talked about this before, but it was a song that I wrote for my ex-girlfriend probably seven years ago, maybe, probably seven years ago. It was the first song that I ever wrote. It took a really long time to create, but I was pretty happy with how it came out, Like, but the thing is, I don't have it anymore. We recorded this song on my friend's computer and then burned it to a CD and I gave her the CD and we are not together anymore and I'm not going to ask for the CD back, <laughs> but I have it in my mind. I still, I still know the song. I still have it in my mind, but as far as like having it and being able to show you guys, can't do it. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, music, it's a tough thing. Like it was a big part of my life a while ago, probably four, five years. Music was a really big part of my life. But now, you know, it's more, you know, video creation and gaming, that kind of thing. But it's still, it's still a part of my life to some extent, just not like the creation of music part as much. And yeah, I don't know. I do miss it, but at the same time, I love what I'm doing, and I just thoroughly enjoy when I see other music creators doing what they do and doing some amazing stuff, like Ellie. Okay, next question was from Spark Nation. Spark Nation said, Spark Nation 3 said, hey, when you first started out recording videos, did it feel awkward just like talking to nobody when you knew there wasn't anybody watching? Like, you're, you're doing your first videos. Was it, was it awkward or was it uncomfortable for you? Because you're so good at doing it. First of all, thank you for saying that. Like, I'm always trying to improve. I don't, I don't think I'm as good as I can be. Like, I'm, I'm, I always do my best, but I'm always trying to get better. So the fact that you say I'm, I'm doing a good job really means a lot to me. So thank you. But yeah, dude, <laughs> when I first started, it was really awkward and uncomfortable. And that's, I don't think it's possible for it not to be. Anybody who started, no matter how good they are, it it was uncomfortable at the at the start. Just like with anything else, the first time you do anything, it's it's awkward, it's uncomfortable. This is just how it goes. But also, like anything else, the more you do it, the better you get at it. 
that's what I that's what I usually say to people who ask about you know just starting a channel. Just keep doing it. The more you do it, the better you get. Like. I think I have over 1,500 videos and maybe, I don't know, five, six, seven hundred in, I really started to get more comfortable. And even so, like, even now, every time I start up a video, like, you know, I, I am, you know, I'm trying to prep myself, make sure that I'm ready, I'm in a good mindset. Like, it's not just like the easiest thing, you just, hey, hit the record button and go. You know, you wanna you wanna make sure you're you're in a good mindset. You know what you're you have everything planned, and yeah, I don't know. Long story short, yes, it was awkward. It was uncomfortable. If you want to see it and see how bad I was, check out the first video ever on my channel, and you will see. And if you wanna if you wanna say this is the worst video ever, feel free to do that. Um, but yeah, so it's just you know. If you're if you're wanting to start a channel and you're you feel like man I don't think this is for me because I'm uncomfortable don't think that everybody's uncomfortable at first that's just how it goes. Last question was from Curious Kara. She said, hey, "Do you have a favorite place where you like to just sit back, relax, and get your mind off things?" That's a great question, and it's kind of a reminder to me that I should have a place because I don't. Like, I spend so much time, you know, on the channel and everything, like, that I really don't spend a lot of time, like, just sitting back, relaxing, and getting my mind off things. Like, I do have a private time in the morning and then the evenings where, you know, I take time to, to, to journal and, and pray and do that kind of stuff. But as far as just, like, sitting back, relaxing... I guess I guess my closest thing to that would be when I'm eating lunch or dinner cuz after I eat lunch or dinner I'm like I usually watch YouTube videos and you know I kind of after I'm done eating I'll kind of just sit there for like an hour or so that's usually my my relaxation time but it's technically not getting my mind off things and just sitting back and relaxing because I'm still watching something my brain is still being uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, my brain is still being stimulated by videos, so it's a good reminder. I do want to just have a place and time where I can just sit back and get my mind off of things. Um, so that's that's a really good question. And ideally, I'm actually going to try to do this. I'm taking that as a challenge. Ideally, I would like to have it outside and just like sit in a chair outside and just enjoy nature because I'm really not outside that much. Like I was today because I mowed the lawn, but it doesn't really count. Well, it kind of counts, but I want to just have some time every day to, you know, sit back, relax, or maybe even walk or something. I don't know. You guys put in the comments. Do you have a time where you just like sit back, relax, get your mind off things? It's really healthy. It's really healthy for your mind and your body helps you relax and just helps you get your mind back on track. You guys, that's gonna do it for today. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next Tuesday evening drive. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh! <laughs> <laughs> no! Nice! Let's go! Oh, get in there! Yeah. Oh, he oh, put it going oh, the wrong way. Oh, oh, oh that's rule number that. one, my friend. Please yeah, that. there you go! Wait, no, wait!